lovelies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. I do want to give you guys quick updates. We have now my shadow journal available. You'll be able to find the link on the description box below. This is for those of you guys that have been waiting for this book. Those of you guys that have been wanting to do shadow work or have um, an easier way to be able to manifest being able to do the shadow work and working on yourself and your subconscious is going to help you not only in manifestation, but in every single aspect of your life. Um, so you guys definitely uh, check that out. And I decided to do this reading for all of you guys. Um, let's see what's, let's see what's unfolding for you guys. You guys stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have the month of December coming up for you guys. So we'll be uploading that video as well. Let's get into it. We're going to begin here with Saggy. It is beginning Saggy season. For those of you guys that are Sagittarians, brightest of blessings. Happy return of the sun. How are you guys feeling? A bit empowered, huh? Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. What are the messages for you? Let's see what you can expect. For the coming weeks, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any personal consultations, any type of spell work, or any of our journals or manifestation book, you can find all of those uh, all those links on the description box below. All right, Sagi, let's begin here. Your first card is you're very close to achieving your goal. So this is an indication that there are Certain manifestations, manifestations that are coming your way. For some of you guys, I feel like you are getting at the point or at the cusp of feeling a bit defeated or feeling a bit like giving up. What Spirit is saying is don't give up just yet. You're about to hit that breakthrough. Whatever difficulties you're currently going through or that you have been experiencing, that's definitely going to be uh, no longer the case for a lot of you guys. So uh, keep on keeping on, my lovely Saggies. Your next card here is your commitment is being tested. Exactly the correlation of this card, right? So what they're telling me is that um, I feel like in the past, there was something you've been really working hard towards or wanting to bring through or manifest. For others of you, it's working on some type of project or something that has you almost, like I said, giving up or to the point of feeling defeated. But I feel like your commitment with this card, your commitment is being tested is definitely a correlation of the previous card. Don't give up. Keep on keeping on. Your breakthroughs are coming through for you. You're going to start to see things move and pick up pace. I'm definitely seeing like a quick pasting here or a feeling of things happening very quickly where at some point you feel like it was stagnant. So Positive, positive energy there for you, Sagittarius. Moving on, let's see what is coming through for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Your season is coming up pretty soon too, Cappies. Let's see what the messages are for you here. All right. Your first card is hold your vision, fixed moon. So I feel for a lot of you guys, there is almost this feeling of being pulled towards, towards, towards two different directions. And what they're telling you is that right now it is crucial and very important not only to maintain your focus, but also to keep that goal in mind, to keep your eye on the prize. You don't want to be distracted by people, circumstances, or situations that drift you from the path that you're currently walking on Capricorn. There's a purpose for that path that you've taken, that path that you're walking through or walking towards. Uh, keep on trying the best you can to, like I said, um, try to remove yourself from any type of distractions right now. Your next card is don't let pride get in your way. So again, Feeling very strongly for a lot of you Capricorns. I feel like you guys are being distracted. Uh, I feel like you are being pulled towards two different directions. For some of you guys, because we're speaking about pride, we're talking about ego here. So for some of you guys, it could come off as 
you know, feeling like you have certain type of responsibilities towards people, towards situations or circumstances. And instead of like walking away and choosing yourself or learning to put yourself first, you're kind of sacrificing something about you or about the situation that what they're telling you right now is that you are the focus Capricorn do what needs to be done that is best to your interest it's time to pull back and stop holding on to like I said feeling like you're responsible or like you have to fix someone or like you have to fix a situation if it's taking too much from you at this point you are the focus if it is interrupting your peace it's time to walk away from that don't let ego get in the way of this process that you're currently going through. Okay, Capricorn. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the coming weeks. What can Aquarius expect? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So what I'm getting is for some of you guys, you guys are having difficulty balancing your spiritual aspect or your spiritual side with the mundane. Oftentimes, as an example, this is something that uh, I often see, right, with clients. We start to embrace our spirituality or we start to get closer to our religion or our belief system. Whenever we're being challenged or whenever we're going through difficulties that kind of humble us, what Spirit is telling you is learn that it's not necessary to go through struggles to be able to feed and to continue nurturing your spiritual aspect. It is about finding balance with both so that you can be able to tap into the spiritual as well as the mundane here, the earthly plane to be able to draw in from your dreams, aspirations, and goals, and to be able to manifest it here in the earthly plane. Doing this or learning how to do this is going to become much more easy and much more effortlessly on your part, not having to try very hard. But again, balance is going to be the main ingredient here. Your next card is nothing will come of this situation. So there's a void. There is something that there's something that you are continuously working at or continuously putting effort towards Aquarius that at this point, it's better to break. Like you're not even breaking even. It's time to just let go. It's time to walk away from what is no longer serving you. If you've been working really hard towards a relationship, a connection, don't force it anymore. At this point, what they're telling you, it's time to walk away, cut your losses um, you're better off. You don't want wasted time. Nothing is worse than wasted time, you guys, because it's worse than wasted money. Time we can never get back. So again, make sure that what you're putting effort and energy towards is reciprocating in some shape, way, or form. It's bringing to you something that is going to help you better align yourself. If it's not, and it's the, the absolute opposite of that, it's draining. It is constant uh, feeling you tied down or bringing you down, it's time to walk away from that Aquarius. Stop forcing things. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Pisces, sun, moon, rising Venus. What is the message for Pisces? You guys definitely stay tuned. We have the videos for the monthly of December. So you guys, um, check that out. Like I said, our, finally our shadow book, shadow journal my shadow journal is finally out so you guys can find the links at the description box below to book readings or consultations or any type of spell work you'll be able to find it on there as well we also have new merch you guys so you guys can find all of those links below i do want to let you guys know please be cautious about people contacting you pretending to be me on any social media platform uh there has been tons of you guys that have reached out to me, letting me know that you guys made payments to someone. Um, that was definitely not me. Whenever you're following one of my social media accounts, look at my bio. You'll be able to find all of the links to my YouTube channel, to my Instagram, they're all to my Facebook. They're all connected. If you don't see that in the account that you're following, even if they say that it's a backup account, I don't have backup accounts. I only have one account 
in each social media. So make sure that you're following the correct person, okay? All right, let's see what's going on. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Pisces. Your first card is hold your vision. Hold your vision, Pisces. Do not be distracted. Don't distract yourself from, if there's something that you feel like you're constantly having to go through right now, it's a lesson. So try to find that, that lesson that you continuously keep going through. There's something that they're trying to show you. There's something that they want you to learn or to understand how to master. And I feel that instead of facing it or instead of dealing with it head on, you have a tendency of escapism. So what they're telling you here is it's time to face the music. It's time to do internalization. It's time to go within, figure out what it is that you want, figure out what are the goals that you want out of a relationship, out of your career, out of life. What is it that you want? Where is it that you want to be at this point in time and make it happen? No more distractions, Pisces, no more escapism, no more running away from having to face the music, okay? Nothing is yet set in stone. So again, I feel like there is an energy of new beginning here for you guys. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be dealing with situations that kind of test um, this aspect of you. There is something that you're trying to or have been trying to run away from. It's time to deal with it, deal with it head on. The path to least resistance is something that I tell clients all the time. Whatever we don't want, our biggest fear or what we fear the most, the more we run away from it, the more it comes up in our life, the more lessons we have to keep going through that teaches us that crucial lesson, right? So what they're telling you is no more running away, no more escapisms. It's time to face it. It's time to deal with it. Take your time in dealing with it, of course. But what they're telling you is you have this new opportunity once this lesson has been learned. It is a new beginning. It is a new endeavor. It is a new life, a new lease on life. But we cannot move forward, right? And stop repeating a cycle if we continuously keep ignoring that and pushing it away. It'll come to surface. So again, Deal with that now so that you don't have to be worrying about any more repeated lessons. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys enjoy these videos, definitely comment below. Let me know. This was kind of spur of the moment. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got parts flying out. All right, the first card is the energy is going, the energy is gaining momentum, sorry. Gaining momentum. There's something that you guys are at the cusp or at the brink of some type of breakthrough. Things are picking up rather quickly for you guys. And I feel like what they're showing me here is almost like going or feeling like you continuously keep going uphill. So there's resistance there, right? There's like the dragging, the pulling up, the going up. I feel like you're at the top already or you will be getting to the top, Aries. But there's still a little bit of resistance. Don't drag your feet. Get the ball rolling. Keep keep on keeping on. Because I see the the, the, the slope coming down. So it's like picking up fast momentum or happening very quickly for you guys. So again, if you've been working really hard towards something and you feel like it's been difficult or you feel like it's been a bit stagnant, that's no longer going to be the case. It's going to pick up momentum very quickly for you guys. Now, your next card here is surrender to the divine. Perfect timing is what they're saying. So again, kind of like the message from the previous sign uh, actually Sagittarius sign, I feel like there is almost this feeling of being able to breathe, being able to actually see in the physical form, the results of your or hard labor, the results of some type of outcome is finally coming through for you guys. So again, Aries, keep on keeping on because the momentum is going to be picking up very quickly for you guys. 
All right, moving on. Let's see what's the message here for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next coming weeks. Let's see what you guys can expect. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Taurus. Your first card is don't let your past hold you back. South node. <laughs> it's south node in Taurus. <laughs> so, oh, it's the back, the green screen. <laughs> What they're showing me here is there is a release that's happening for you guys. I feel like you guys have been going through this for the past, I want to say six months or so, where there's a lot of reminiscing, a lot of nostalgia that you guys have been dealing with, but it's because past hurts and turbulations or lessons that we learned that were extremely difficult that we overcame, um, are still coming up to surface, but they're coming up to surface almost like for you to acknowledge what you've been suppressing for a very long time. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel happy. It's okay to feel defeated sometimes. It's okay to feel thrilled and happy and joyous. It is okay to feel, okay? That's the message. It's okay to feel. Whatever it is, it's okay to feel that, but make sure that you don't stay in that energy for too long, especially if it's low vibration type of energy. What they're telling you here is don't let the past hold you back. Whatever you've experienced in the past, stop thinking that it's going to happen again because that's what's holding you back from embracing a new beginning or embracing new connections or embracing new people. There is a fear that is connected to the past that you've overcame already. But sometimes when we stay in, in a certain situation for quite a while, as an example, you were hurt and you were broken down, you put yourself together and now you want to put yourself out there, but you're kind of scared because it was hard, right? It was hard to get over that whole shabak hole. So you want to embrace it, but you're also in a place where it's safe, Right. So it keeps you from moving forward. And sometimes getting too comfortable is what keeps us from progress. So what they're telling you here is don't let the past hold you back. Don't let the fear of having the same outcome that you experienced in the past keep you from trying, from having a new lease on life, from experiencing something new. Doesn't matter. This is something I often tell not just my clients, but everyone that follows me on social media. Always live your life to the fullest. And yes, with life comes difficulties, heartbreak, and just a whole bunch of lessons. But the key thing to remember is it's always amazing to feel. Whatever it is, whether it's good, whether it's sadness, whatever it is, it's good to feel. It becomes difficult and almost unbearable when you become numb, when you no longer feel. Because then there's absence in life in that. So again, put yourself out there. It's time to set something new, start a new cycle. Now your next card is the answers you need are coming. Whatever it is you've been hoping or wanting, whatever whatever it is you've been praying for, it will manifest for you, Taurus. It's coming through. So be excited about that because blessings are coming your way. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect in the next coming weeks. All right, here we go, Gemini. Your first card, it's time to release negativity. And it is connected to full moon in Scorpio. Okay, so for some of you guys, you've been experiencing a lot of negativity or just feeling not yourself lately. Um, I was going to say Scorpio. Some of you guys are connected to a Scorpio. What they're showing me is almost this feeling of frustration. And I feel like it's not coming from you, Gemini. I feel like it's coming from the people around you. So if you often find yourself being around people that are extremely negative, don't allow that to impact or to affect the way you feel or to affect what you're trying to do. So what I mean by that is, as an example, I'm sure you guys have all experienced, like you're excited about something, you want to share it with a friend, 
And instead of them embracing that, or instead of them being excited for you, they quickly become very cynical or they give you backhanded compliments or they make you feel stupid just by the comment they make. What this is telling me is that it's time for you to listen to your heart, to your intuition, Gemini. Don't matter the noise around you. If you have to pull back, if you have to cut certain connections, it's time to do so. Now is the time to do so. You're the one that decides the people you want to be around with and the people you choose to share your energy with. Remember, it is exchange of energy. Every time you're on the phone with a friend, every time you're listening to your sister, your brother, your cousin, it's exchange of energy. If after that conversation, after being around them or being out socially with them, if you're left feeling depleted, then they're not really filling your cup and you're the one that is filling their cup, which is why they draw or come in towards your energy. It's time to cut that. Be more selective of your friend group or the people you choose to be around. Now, the next card you have is what do you need to release? So again, it's about releasing you guys. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of purging in the next coming weeks. This could be, you know, disconnecting with friends. This could be cutting relationships, ending relationships, or just people falling off the map. Don't chase them. Embrace this beginning because you sometimes people have an issue or difficulty understanding that not everyone is meant to write the train that you are. I know that's difficult to understand, but what I mean by that is a lot of the times we feel like we owe them so much because they were our childhood friend, because they're family, because of whatever. These are preconceived notions about yourself and how you feel, you know, your responsibility is to other people. The truth is you don't owe nobody anything and nobody owes you anything. And if they, if you have the loyals, the ones that are there for you, the ones that do for you, the ones that are constantly pouring water into your plant and you do the same for them, then that's amazing relationship. It's reciprocation. But if you feel like they often take from you and they only come around you when they need you, then it's time to cut those losses. It's time to end those connections. Be more selective. All right. Moving on, let's see what's going on for Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Are you guys excited about the holidays as we are? We are super big on holidays over here. So we're pretty excited. All the nieces and nephews are definitely looking forward to Christmas. Do you guys celebrate that? Comment below. Let me know. Let me know what your traditions are. If any. Let's see what's going on here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Cancer, we have, don't let your past hold you back. Cancer, I feel like you guys have been dealing with people coming back into your life, people from the past or that, or that you had previous connections with, and it didn't work out and they're coming back around. I want you to remember I want you to remember why you guys ended those connections, why you guys ended those relationships. There was a reason behind that. Don't allow people to come back into your life just because they choose, like they can waltz right in. It's, it's about remembering. It's about remembering how they treated you or how they did you or why you stop effing with them in the first place. Remember that next time someone rings you up and it's a person from the past, don't sit there and think, oh, this could mean something. No, it doesn't. It just means that the universe is testing you. Do you respect yourself? Do you love yourself? Do you value yourself? Because if you do, you're not going to entertain anyone that was degrading to you or disrespectful or that took you for granted or that took advantage of you. You've outgrown that. You are more empowered now. You are stronger now. Be careful the people that you allow to come back into your life. Now, the next card that we have here is a personal issue reaches resolution. I feel like this is a lot connected with this one, which is about, you know, being selective and 
knowing that you deserve the world cancer, knowing what you deserve and not settling for anything less or not entertaining because you feel lonely. It's okay to feel like I was telling, um, like I was telling Taurus and Gemini. I feel like you guys are going through almost an awakening or the blindfold is coming off for some of you in regards to a connection, in regards to someone that you're messing around with or dealing with. Um, it's like they were showing you red flags, but you weren't really seeing them. Oh, you're going to see them. You're going to see them, Cancer. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next coming weeks. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Leo, you have a win-win outcome is forecast. You guys have been difficulty or have been having difficulties feeling like you've been treated unfairly or unjustly or like the universe is not really helping. You were going through some type of test, Leo. And I feel like all your rewards are coming in. It's like a bountiful energy of abundance, of blessings. So for some of you guys, unexpected blessings. There is almost like justice is being served. So for those people that purposely went out of their way to make your life difficult or to create difficulty or just making your life a bit more difficult, but they're being spiteful about it, you're going to see, you know, shit come out in the open where they get caught up trying to do what they did to you to other people, but they get caught. So there is almost like a karmic energy that's coming for those of you, for those of them that came for you, Leo. So you guys stay out on the lookout for that. Uh, but I do see unexpected blessings coming your way. Your next card here is work through your fears. So again, there's something that you've been dealing with. There is a certain theme that has been coming up in your life, Leo. Um, it's time to stop running away from that and to actually deal with it head on. You got to let go of your fears. I feel like for a lot of you guys, whatever manifestation, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest or that you've been working really hard towards achieving, it's already in your energetic field. It's already yours, Leo. You just got to let go of that fear, the fear of having the need to be in control or for it to happen when you decide it needs to happen. The moment you surrender is the moment that it comes through for you. Perfect timing. All right, Leo. Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the next coming weeks, what can Virgo expect? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go. Virgo. We have be bold and make the first move. Since when is Virgo scared? <laughs> Since when are you guys scared? Since when are you guys intimidated? There is someone that I see you very interested in, but I feel like you kind of you kind of shrink around them. There is this like, I don't want to say intimidation, but there's this feeling of getting all choked up or getting all tongue-tied, not being able to fully express yourself or be yourself because this person makes you so nervous. If you're connecting with this message, what Spirit is telling you is that the other person may seem very outgoing. But surprisingly, they're a bit shy when it comes to emotions, when it comes to connections. So be the one to make the first move. Be the one to be bold. It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone and throw yourself out there in the wind. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be very surprised, Virgo. The next card here is emotions are running high. So again, I feel for a lot of you guys, there is almost a revamp in your love life. There is a pickup on love and romance or you are connecting with people that are going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment in your life. This doesn't have to be romantically. This could be your social setting. This could be friends, but this is new energy. So it's new connections. It could be connections that come through for you that open you up to uh, different cultures, different foods, different um, belief systems, even 
where you're feeling very excited about being able to see life from a very different perspective. Definitely, definitely. I encourage you guys to embrace this energy, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next coming weeks. What can they expect? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide or any of our journals for manifestation or the shadow, uh, my shadow journal is out now. So you guys can find all of that on the links below. It is the season, you guys. So definitely get your personal readings. We're quickly booking. I believe we're booking already for the end of December, beginning of January and February. So you guys definitely get that. All right, here we go, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Your first card is nothing is yet in stone or set in stone. Okay, so if you've been waiting for, if you've been waiting to hear back from someone or a situation that has you almost at the edge of your seat because you're waiting to hear from something or someone, this could be a process in regards to negotiations, but for others of you, this could be a relationship or some type of connection. I feel like the reason why it hasn't moved forward is because things are still unfolding. If you are just recently dealing with someone, Libra, and it feels like things are not picking up as quickly as you would want, learn that what Spirit is telling you is you need to be more patient and more selective. So take your time when getting to know someone. Take your time when connecting with someone. Really get to know them. Don't just rush or don't just get into relationships because it's exciting. And then later on, you wonder what happened? Well, you guys weren't really that connected or that emotionally invested in each other. So that's why nothing came from it. There's almost like a need for you to like, you know, slow and steady wins the race, Libra. Your next card here is expect a powerful change. I guarantee for a lot of you Libras that heed the warning, you're going to see your life take a very different route in a very positive way. I feel like for some of you guys, you have issues when it comes to taking your time or being patient. I feel like it's exciting and thrilling when things pick up rather quickly, but I've always said this. When something starts off hot and heavy, it usually crashes and burns really quick. So the the faster you learn to take your time, to not completely throw yourself in a connection and want to tell them all about you, like you leave absolutely no mystery whatsoever. By doing that, you know, you, you kind of are at a stalemate and, and vice versa. So give each other some space, some room to breathe. Um, when you're connecting with someone or romantically getting to know someone, take your time. There's no need to rush. Um, I feel like the more selective you are in this aspect, it's going to better your life and it's going to change everything in your life completely and drastically in a positive way. All right, Libra. And finally, let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with them, what they can expect for the next coming weeks. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys definitely stay tuned. We have tons of spell videos coming through for you guys for New Year's or the end of the year to kick off the new year, as well as tons of new readings, okay? If you guys like these videos, definitely share, like, and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right, here we go. Scorpio. Oh, we pulled out two. Surrender to the divine. Trust the process, Scorpio. Trust the process. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're being tested right now in the sense of having to clarify. Almost like if you've been feeling like things have been going very slow, I feel like this is the universe doing you a solid. Your spirit team is doing you a solid. They want you to revisit the desires or the manifestations that you're trying to make happen and give it a quick tune-up. What do I mean by that? Sometimes we want something so badly that we obsess over it, right? And then it happens and then we realize, well, it's not really what I wanted. 
And the reason for this is because sometimes what we want is not necessarily what we need. So if you've been having trouble manifesting or if you've been having trouble in a certain aspect in your life, there's something they want you to revisit. They want you to go over something, whether it's contracts and deals, um, finances, there is something that you're not paying attention to that you kind of need to revisit. You need to really assess basically is what they're saying. So taking inventory of where we're at at this point in our life, what is it that we want and what is it that we need to do to get there? Okay. But with a clear and concise mind. So again, it is very important at this point in time that you be clear on what it is that you want, Scorpio, that you be clear in the aspirations, the dreams, the whatever it is that you're trying to bring through for you. And it almost feels like it hasn't came in that quickly. It's not really that it hasn't came in as quickly as that spirit wants you to, you know, give it the last tune up, you know, really figure out exactly what it is that you want and be positive and sure that that's what you want so that your heart can be filled with gratitude when it finally comes through for you. Now, your next card here is you and your loved ones are safe. So for some of you guys, it could be that there is almost this feeling of the family or surrounding the family or the connection with family, something that is going to be very important. And for some of you guys, it could be exactly that, that there's something that you've been wanting to heal or wanting to fix in the dynamic of the family. And it just feels like it hasn't happened yet. What spirit is telling you is really take your time, figure out exactly what it is that you want. Why? Because figuring out exactly what we want, an example, we want to help heal, you know, our brother, our sister in a connection or in the link of the family, there was falling out of, you know, people not getting along or whatever. You're trying to be the bigger person and bring everyone together. It's time to really assess. Is it worth you sacrificing yourself at the cost of your peace, at the cost of dealing with people that are very toxic, whatever that is? And if it's not, then it's okay to assess and to come to the determination that you're better off doing what you need to do on your own than continuously trying to deal with people that are just not giving or reciprocating. But trust the process is what they're saying, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, definitely give a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know you guys enjoy these readings so I can keep them coming. And you guys definitely stay tuned for December readings. For now, I will let you guys go. Bye.